If you know or suspect that your baby has food allergies, then the thought of weaning them can be quite scary. I'm not going to lie, it's not easy, but there are plenty of precautions you can take to make sure that you do it as safely as possible. The first thing is to make sure that you've spoken to your GP and got yourself an allergy referral for the proper tests, and also that you've managed to see a dietitian and talk about the foods that you should be avoiding. Once you've got those two things in place, then it's really about taking it slowly. Try to start off with the least allergenic foods, things that most people are less likely to react to. That includes things like root vegetables, sweet potato, butternut squash, carrots, um, or on fruit, pear and apple are a good place to start. Or if you want to try some meat, then turkey is a good option. Do remember though, that children can react to any food. So try to take a few simple steps each time you're introducing something. Firstly, only introduce a new food every three days. Although if you're anything like my children, they react immediately, leaving it three days allows you to check for any delayed reactions or any other symptoms like eczema or gastrointestinal difficulties. When you introduce a new food, it's important that you don't just give it to them straight away. You want to take a few little steps first. The first thing I do is to rub it on the inside of their wrist. This allows you to check for any contact reactions if they have a severe allergy to that food. If you don't see any hives or any redness after about 10 or 15 minutes, then you're okay to carry on and give it a bit more to them. The next step is to rub a small amount on the inside of their lip. This will give you a chance to check for any swelling or any immediate reaction. As long as they're okay after that, then give them about a pea-sized amount, just a small amount to see what happens. Again, leave it about 20 minutes and if everything's okay, you can increase the amount slowly. Remember that these aren't foolproof steps. So it's important that you familiarise yourself um, with the symptoms of allergic reactions and have antihistamine to hand because that's the first line defence for any reaction. If your child has any difficulty breathing, any severe vomiting or seems unresponsive in any way, then do call 999 immediately as allergic reactions can be serious. It's important, I think, when you're weaning a child with allergies to try as much as possible to focus on the foods that they can eat and not what they can't have. They can still have a varied diet, they can still enjoy it, they can still have a lot of fun throwing it around and exploring new tastes and textures. You just need to approach it in a slightly different way. For more about my experiences, a lot of free from recipes um, and advice, please take a look at my blog, which is freefromfarmhouse.co.uk. Good luck and enjoy weaning.